Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with my friend Amanda and we're going to be filming a vegan taste test for you. So we got a cool box from Vegan Cuts. They were kind enough to send me this for the video. Every month you get a new box full of cool vegan snacks and I think this is a really awesome way to try out new vegan products and see what's new on the market as well. So we're gonna try these out and let you know our thoughts and if you're interested in getting your own box or getting a subscription, I have links in the description of this video. So check them out. <laughs> Okay, so they sent a little list, so I guess we'll just go in order of the list. So first we have Pip Snacks. It's a bite-sized savory truffle popcorn. It's supposed to be tiny, I guess. I actually, truffle, have you tried truffle before? No. Okay, so truffle has a very distinct flavor. The restaurant that I work at right now, we have a lot of stuff with truffle, and some people absolutely hate it, and some people really like it. It has a weird smell, but I think it smells good. Does it smell like truffle? Let's it see. smells good. It's not a very, it just it kind of smells like, like popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. Okay, you can go for it. All right. I can taste the truffle a little. Hmm. I don't yeah. want it. I need more. Yeah, I They're too tell. tiny. You can't, can't just put one in your mouth. Yeah, I think it's good. I think some pieces have more flavor than others. Yeah. But it's good. It's a nice snack. Yeah, it's not overpowering flavors. Yeah. It's, it's not good. too salty either. And I like how it doesn't feel like really greasy because sometimes you get popcorn and it's like yeah, pretty gross. Eight out of ten. Oh, yeah. I guess we should rank this. <laughs> yeah, I okay. dropped a piece. I would give it an eight too. Yeah. <laughs> and there was like a thing going around. It was like a text post on Tumblr, I think. And it was like people... It's like that moment when you're aggressively hungry with popcorn. You're like, <laughs> show me. <laughs> I do that every single time. So, next we have a fruit and veggie snack bar. The packaging is really it's, cute. It is cute, I was just gonna say that. It looks cute, it's made with butternut squash puree, then it has pineapple puree, mango puree, and lemon juice. I don't think it's gonna taste that bad. No, I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be like a vegetable fruit leather. Oh, there are two pieces. <laughs> Here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this kind of looks like skin. I don't... It smells it good. Smell, yeah, I'm just smelling it. Okay. It's good. I think I get more like mango and citrus, and then the aftertaste yeah. tastes more like butternut squash to me. Texture-wise, it's pretty on par with fruit leather, I'd yeah. say. So, if you like fruit leather, you would probably like this. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad, but... It's not amazing either. I don't think I would buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a six. Mm, yeah, I'll go with the six too. It's all right. It's good. Not not great. Next, it's a mixed nuts caramel and sea salt bar by Raw Red. Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that color. <laughs> it reminds. I don't know what it reminds. It smells me. really. Oh my gosh! It smells, it smells like Nature's good. Path organic maple crunch it cereal. It smells good. Oh, it's chocolatey. Oh look my gosh! That. Look at this. this is. That looks so good. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Okay. Right. I'm excited for this yeah, now. Me too. The chocolate is really good. Yeah. The chocolate is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I think the rest of the stuff is fine. I think it's a protein bar, so that's why it has like the protein bar texture. I still think it tastes good though. It's good. Yeah. Seven and a half. I'll give it an eight. So, but I think for like a snack bar, it's pretty good. Yeah. The chocolate. The, the chocolate, chocolate it's is worth it. It's um, totally worth it. Like it. melted in my it was mouth. So good. Okay, um, Jimmy Bar. It's a clean snack bar. I think it's mostly dates and chocolate. <laughs> this is such a strong hang with us here. This kind of reminds me more of a Lara Bar. Mm hmm Like, but it has more ingredients. There's brown rice crisp in it. Yes, it has like more of a texture. Uh, I'm gonna do an eight. I would say an eight too. Yeah. For the taste, yeah. Taste wise, it's yeah. I wish it was just bigger. <laughs> Jimmy Bar, make extra large bars so that I can eat it for a meal. The next one is a Shine Organics pouch. It says it's a blend of fruits, veggies, and micronutrients, and it looks really good. It says apple, guava, kale, strawberry, parsley, and chia. The only thing I'm worried about is the parsley. Does it have a smell? Just wanna... Oh. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> looks good. Yum. Does it, it does. It smells like. It smells like applesauce. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's okay. It has a strong flavor. 
I think it's, um, I'm mostly getting guava, I feel like. I don't know what it tastes like, though. Just because kind of like, <laughs> I keep eating it, so I must like it. <laughs> you want more? I just, I can't tell. <laughs> I think I like it. Probably a seven. I'll give it an eight and a half. I think I really like it. I, the flavor was a little weird for me. I kept eating it. So I, I know, I you like the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Next, organic raw sprouted buffalo almonds and ranch cashews, which are usually not flavors you would see on vegan yeah. products. There you go. Make sure you get an almond and a cashew. Here. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's try the. Which one do you do we'll first? We'll do the almond first. Okay. Wow. Has a kick at the end. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like that. I like it. It's nice and crunchy too. Yeah. Okay. Then cashew. It tastes like ranch to me, honestly. Mm hmm. I like it. Yeah. I think the combination is good too. Yeah, I'm going to try them together. Oh, good idea. Then we get to eat more. Exactly. It's a nine at least. Yeah, I'd say I'd give it a nine. Yeah. Those are good. Next, we have peeled snacks. And I think this is just dried organic mangoes. So, can't get wrong there. Yeah, I never really met a mango I didn't like. Just kidding, I've had a bad mango <laughs> before. <laughs> Tastes like a dried mango. Yeah. I think dry fruit's really good to have as snacks. I usually take it with me to class because it takes up less space than hydrated fruit. So I usually snack on it during class. People might think I'm weird, but whatever. I'm eating mangoes. I do the same thing at work. I give it a nine. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna give anything a ten. There's <laughs> always room for improvement. Exactly. Next, we have these Kettle Brand potato chips. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just sea salt kettle chips. Surprise! Chips are vegan. They're good. Tastes like a potato chip. Yeah. I'll give them a nine. I don't know. I like potato chips. Yeah, I'll give it a nine too. They're, nice they're and salty. salty. They're good. Even though they're fried, I don't think they're like overly greasy. No. I feel like 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 my hands aren't like gross. Like you know how yeah. they get. Like so. Next, we have this maple water, and I've actually tried this before, but Amanda has not. I was actually running a race with my mom in Massachusetts, and I think that people live around there, so I actually got to talk to them, I think it was this past summer, and tried some of it then, and they were really cool, um, but I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to spoil. <laughs> it's supposed to be like an alternative to coconut water. We're going to do maple water shots tonight. Heck so yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's very subtle. Yeah. It doesn't taste like water, but it doesn't have much of a taste after that. Yeah, it's like, it's slightly sweet. I think it's really good in smoothies and stuff. So this you wouldn't really drink more for the sweetness, but it's actually a really good source of manganese. It has more manganese than a cup of kale. And, oh, it has like prebiotics, uh, minerals, and electrolytes. So I think uh, it's good for like a post-workout recovery drink. I give it an 8 for the health benefits. I was going to give it a 6. It's like, it's good. Yeah, it's not bad. I would drink it again, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah. Type of thing. But yeah. It's, it's good for smoothies. Yeah. But I like coconut water just more, I think, for personal preference. I'm excited about this next one. It is a mint chocolate chip brownie bar. And this is by Nature's Bakery. I don't know if any of you have tried their fig bars, but those are absolutely amazing. Have you tried them? I haven't. They are so good. And they're not that expensive either. And I think they sell them at most grocery stores. The blueberry and fig one is my favorite. So if you see that, get that one. It smells really good. <laughs> um, I like that it's mint chocolate. Here, do you want to break a piece? Yeah, I think it's more of like a chocolate cake. Yeah. versus like brownie which is what i was expecting because the fig bars are kind of like that but i think the mint is really good it's it's, it's subtle but it's like it's the perfect there. amount yeah it's a, yeah i like that that's i'll give that an eight i'll give it a nine. Oh, um also i'm just gonna throw it in there they did send me two tea bags but we're not gonna try them out because it's really hot anyways and i don't really feel like <laughs> drinking tea for you guys so this next one is very interesting to me it's called Xylachew. It's a preservative-free peppermint gum with natural fruit and veggie sweeteners. And moment of truth here, I used to be addicted to chewing gum. Me too. Like, I feel like I would go through at least half a pack a day. And so my teeth are probably forever destroyed from that. But I realized that it was so bad that I just forced myself to stop and I stopped buying gum. And I'm not even sure if most gums are vegan or not. 
I don't know either. I haven't looked into it because I stopped chewing gum before I went vegan and I was just like, nope. What was your favorite brand? Trident Original. <laughs> it's the perfect mix because it was like slightly cinnamony, but it was also minty. It was the best. I what liked, was yours? I like Extra's Watermelon. Ah. It was good. So you're more of a fruit person. Watermelon. I was a minty person. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you get a piece. It tastes like, like gum. Peppermint gum. gum. I remember. Yeah. It says like fruit and veggie sweeteners and it doesn't taste like fruit or vegetables, which is good, I think, for peppermint yeah, it's gum. Peppermint. I'll give it an eight. Yeah. But I can't buy any more because <laughs> then my addiction might come back. <laughs> and then we have one final product. And to be honest, this is the one that I am kind of most scared <laughs> to try. It's by the brand Pacific and it's an organic seitan, but it's Korean barbecue flavored. And if you don't know, seitan, it's usually made from like wheat gluten, so it's a wheat protein. But this one has red beans and lentils in it as well. It's in some liquid. I can feel it moving around. Yeah, we can try this cold, and if it's terrible, then we'll just heat it up. Mm. There it is. Um, it smells... I used to... But, I don't know. I used to eat a lot of fake meat when I was vegetarian and when I was growing up as a kid. So I don't mind it. I just don't eat very much of it. Okay, I'm just going to dump it out. Um, do you mind holding the plate? Yeah, sure. It kind of looks like spam. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and there we have it. And... <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll cut you a piece. It's oh, like, thank you. And yeah, we can cut this we can we can totally split that here i'm gonna zoom yeah. in on this you guys can see yep there you go if you can see the texture and it's kind of like spam yeah but maybe it'll be amazing yes i think it'll be okay that's yeah, fine it smells good that's actually way better than i was expecting it to that's be. very good i like the flavor and i don't mind the texture either hmm it's like it's not overly chewy. Like, no. you know, sometimes when you get fake meat, it's like really rubbery and like your teeth make a little squeaky noise when you're eating. Yeah, it kind of just like doesn't melt in your mouth, but it kind of just... I would actually recommend this. I think it's good and I think it'd be even better heated up. Yeah. Put on like a sandwich or have some breakfast food. So, yet another lesson, don't judge a book by its cover. I rate that probably... I'll give it an 8. I'll give it an 8 too. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it was really good though. Yeah. Like, if I ate more mock meats, I would definitely buy this. All right, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks to Vegan Cuts for sending me this box to try out. I had a lot of fun. I did, too. Yeah. And also, Amanda has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that below, and you guys should check it out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah. Is that too bright? I don't know. I feel like it might be. People care more about the that, food anyway. Yeah, exactly. Stupid. Okay. Do so, you get them every month? No, I just okay. don't want one, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> I think it has a stronger aftertaste. <laughs> An initial taste. <laughs> Chocolate chips. Wait, what? Oh, it says cocoa butter slash soy. I was like, there's butter oh, in this? Oh, it's oh, supposed oh. to be vegan. <laughs>